Barbados Grand Cadumet masqueraders will return to the traditional route following a meeting with band leaders and the National Cultural Foundation. This decision comes on the heels of the Minister with Responsibility for Culture, Senator Dr. Chantal Monroe Knight, revealing that the festival will return to its full calendar of events this year. Last year, the parade ran from the Everton Weekest Roundabout in Lawrence to the JTC Ramsey Roundabout sparking mixed reactions from revelers, band leaders, and spectators. However, officials from the NCF explained that while the new route had worked in a hybrid COVID-19 environment, the traditional route was unbeatable for an authentic Grand Coudement jump as it involved the surrounding communities. NCF CEO Dr. Carol roberts Reefer acknowledged that there were some issues with the traditional route that needed to be addressed, but expressed confidence that they could be ironed out with the help of other stakeholders. It's interesting that a country this size uh, is still fortunate enough to have options. Yeah. So there were quite a number of pluses from the route that we used in 2022 within a COVID environment, a hybrid environment. Uh, the traditional route is authentic. Yeah. When you see coverage of that route, it could only be one place. Eagle Hall could only be Eagle Hall. And then when you end on the Mighty Brenner Highway, that vista of Brandon Speech can only be in Marinas. And there are lots of other things that work. The, the, our mask gives a sense of community, brings about a sense of community. Uh, I have a very close friend. I've heard you say it as well, Sherman. If you need to use your bathroom on Kadumut Day, you can oh, always have all my run, mm -hmm. run and beg somebody who has now become a friend yes. over the years to right. use the bathroom. Yeah. So they, they, they are little uh, intangible. Uh, pluses to the traditional route that we're going to develop yeah. even further. Yeah.